Ouch. Triple X stable. So, today's steak is gonna be a nice, beautiful rib steak, and we're gonna spice that up with the Joe Robinette Special Bam Son. Uh, I've tried this already a couple times, it's actually pretty good. Um, I personally would have liked to have a little bit more uh, salt in it, like a kosher salt, more of a coarse salt in there, but uh, this is very tasty. I just gotta make sure that I give it a little mix up, and uh, we should be pretty good to go. So, let's get this guy open here. Look at that, it's a beautiful steak. Nice and marbled, triple A Angus beef, another beauty. Picked this up at a local butcher. There we go, let's get a lot on there. I like, I like my steaks really, uh, it's really spiced up. Some of that will end up burning, or burning off anyway, so it's not the end of the world. We also got some, some potatoes, onions, garlic uh, in that tin foil wrap, and hopefully uh, that'll cook up quite nicely too. So um, let's get this guy on the grill. Ooh, that is hot. All right, we're getting all curly here. We gotta flip this guy over. Ooh, a little overdone. Too busy to see how the taters are doing. Alrighty guys, there's today's meal. A little steak and potatoes, some onions, caramelized onions on there. Looking pretty good. Sometimes you just gotta man up and eat a steak with your face. Yep, it's kind of funny. I was just about to get into that, uh, into the backpack, <clears throat> and for the first time ever, I bumped into people in the woods here. Seems to be a family walking their dog on the trails here, but it's actually the first time I've ever bumped into anybody around here. I'm not a big fan of people. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it is what it is. All right, so before we get into it, I wanna get a quick little chaga tea going. So, oh, whew, it's getting cold out too. Maybe we'll just get this right on the grill. So I'm gonna set up my uh, my chocolate tea real quick. We'll set it up onto the grill. Hopefully we can get a boil fast enough and then uh, we'll get into the backpack. I'm absolutely in love. Get some chaga in there. A couple of wintergreen leaves. And their water. Get a big one. There we go. Sorry, guys. Right at the very top, we got this nice, uh, generous um, uh, handle, uh, grab handle, just to pick up your pack and shove, shuttle it around in and out of the car type thing. Really good. Also very good for hanging your pack if you want to do that. But uh, nice and durable, and well and well sewn. 
So just like the Alice pack, it's got those those two clips that'll attach at the, at the, around the center of the pack. Um, but uh, Malcolm really added a tremendous amount of uh, webbing um, on the pack from top and bottom. So uh, and he also added this guy here. It's a little piece of uh, Velcro that uh, you can just quickly uh, roll up all your uh, <coughs> all your excess. Um, all your excess webbing and it keeps it in a nice and nice clean uh, little little uh, section like this instead of having them flopping around and making noise on your backpack um, he it was very generous in the webbing so you've got enough room on top to put a uh, bedroll or another one on the bottom but we'll get to that in a second so the buckles really strong uh, really strong high quality uh, buckles on there uh, I've got my cooks are hanging from this from the uh, from one of the loops here, but all right So under the front lid you've kind of got like this giant possibles pouch um, It's got a really a, again another really thick durable uh, mesh here with a with a great quality zipper uh, I don't know what the ideal. I don't know what the uh, what company is I guess it's ideal the company, but it's very similar to YKK uh, zippers and uh, you can put in all kinds of stuff I got ferro rods. I've got my headlamp. I've got some cordage. I've got my compass I keep all that uh, that stuff that I'm gonna need uh, on hand, right up on the top there. Zips up, zips closed, and it's quite large too. You can see that's got a. It's probably around a, a foot long, a foot square, with really durable, uh, nice mesh in there. So right, the uh, top part of the pack is basically a, a giant bucket. So you have a um, a cord lock here. You'll pull that open, and the, the pack, the size of the pack, just opens right up now. I can go on and show you everything I got in here. This is my camera, my camera bag. I've got a 1.5 liter water bottle. I've got my camping chair. I've got my mess kit. And my GoPro. And I got a grill tucked in back here. I mean, this thing holds a tremendous amount of space. And you could easily load this load this main pack or this main main compartment full of stuff for an overnighter absolutely no problem and one other nice touch that Malcolm did is he put this nice bright orange flap in here I mean you can shove a water uh, water bladder back here or whatever you wanted to that would be fine but this thing actually helps you see inside your pack quite a bit better. It's not just all dark. You got this bright orange here that really brightens up the inside of the pack and makes these smaller items easier to find. So, all right, and then we have the axe sleeve in the front. Now, this for me was actually uh, pretty uh, pretty important in a backpack. This is why I like the Alice pack because I was able to put my my um, you know the Alice had the third pocket in the center and I was able to slide the axe on the inside. And this is a this is a Husqvarna Carpenter's Axe. It's got a two pound head on there and that fits in there quite nicely with no damage. And uh, I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer so you can see the durability of this and uh, the little extras that he put in that makes this thing absol absolutely, um, I'm gonna call it bomb proof, indestructible. You can use the words that you want, but this is never coming apart. Now, hopefully you're seeing this here, but if I turn this up inside, he's got this looks like webbing it's like super thick hard webbing sewn in there to make sure that this whole section where he's got all these extra stitching that this is not going to end up ripping or failing on you and he's got really thick straight double stitches uh all the way around this whole thing this is not going anywhere anytime soon another great thing is actually these side pockets now these things are gigantic um, you could fit, uh, on Mal Malcolm's video, he says that you could fit two Nalgene bottles side by side in one of these. And uh, I think that's not even the end of it. I think you could fit two Nalgene bottles side by side plus a little something extra. Because uh, these things are gigantic. Here. Sorry guys, take a look at what I got in here. Now, you can see I still got room, right? Now look, got my med kit, size of my hand. Let's take this over here. Got a little bit of BAMS on. Trail camera. Chaga. And the uh, winter, my bag of wintergreen. I've also got that, my, uh, my Leatherman. 
And I think that's it for this one. Now, I actually still have a little more room in here. And if I'm, if I'm packing this really good, I think I can get my canteen in there too. My canteen came out of the pocket on the other side, but there's absolutely plenty of room in here. On the bottom of the pack, there's all this webbing here that you can uh, attach things to on your, you know, when you click this up, you've got enough room to either attach uh, something to the bottom with the straps, or you could lash it directly to the uh, webbing that Malcolm stuck on the bottom of the pack. Uh, just another thing, another well thought out plan is having tie outs in important spots. You know, like being able to carry uh, even wood if you wanted to on the bottom of your pack. You could tie um, your sleeping bag you try your back, uh, your uh, your bed roll. You could tie your blanket, tarp. Uh, the list goes on and on of things you could stick down here. And uh, if you're creative with your uh, with your um, with your tarp or the things that you're tying back there, you could actually use that as another area to carry gear by uh, folding things up inside of the blanket and then rolling it up and then sticking it at the bottom here with a Canadian jam or something like that. You'll end up having. Uh, having an easy accessible uh, extra kit to carry in the bottom or even attaching like a small duffel bag or another ba another bag at the bottom of this if you wanted to do like a like a um, you know like a couple weeks stay uh, out of a bag like this and you wanted to bring some extra gear on a canoe camping trip for example um, awesome now this backpack uh, doesn't come with its own suspension system this is just a pack to attach to an alice frame to give you an opportunity to uh, swap up the uh, medium size alex alice um, for a another backpack now i'll show you what i've done to this uh to, to kind of personalize it to me um and uh we'll go on from there so uh, let me uh, get this guy on my on my seat. We'll switch spots, and uh, you'll be able to see how I attach it to the uh, to the Alice pack, and uh, to the Alice frame, and uh, why I think having a pack with an external frame is better than having a pack with an internal frame. Let's take a look. For those of you who don't own Alice packs, and uh, don't really know exactly how they work. I'll show you how this how this attaches anyway. Um, when Malcolm set up these straps here for it to attach to the frame, he put it. He made a triple ply and sewed the crap out of it so it ain't going nowhere. And this will take all a bunch of the weight uh, off the backpack to make sure that uh, your straps and your webbing don't wear out. Oh, the smoke's killing me. So, how do you attach the bottom of the backpack? Let's take a look right down there. So on the inside of the frame, Malcolm also includes, with the purchase of the back of the backpack, this little uh, strap here that attaches through these little loops that are attached onto the backpack on the side. Hopefully you're able to see those right in there. And you can see one right here where they attach into the, uh, into the backpack. So you slide that through, get it through there nice and tight, and give it a zip, and that's it. Now on my backpack, I don't use the, uh, the Alice suspension. I found the Alice suspension absolutely horrible. So I switched it up for the Molly 2, um, the Molly 2 uh, suspension system. So this is, a, I know it doesn't match or anything, but it does its job just fine. Uh, it's still in great condition and uh, it hangs the backpack quite well. So basically what I've done is I've done like a little cross thing and then tied off a knot on the inside here. And then I've run my straps through the, you'll find when you have the Alice pack, if it's got these little, these little uh, slots in here for you to put your straps in. And then once you got your straps through those and hanging there, it becomes uh, just, uh, you just adjust it to where you want to have it, have it hang off your back and you'll be comfortable, fully adjustable. And down here at the bottom, I've got the Molly 2, Molly 2 um, uh, waist hip uh, kidney belt or hip belt, whatever they want to call it. <coughs> uh, but right now I'm not using because I'm not, I'm not carrying a really big load. I'm using a, a pretty reasonably light load. So I've just got it wrapped around and hooked into the back. The thing that I like about these about these uh, external frame backpacks is you can attach things to the outside of your pack. Now, in this case, um, all of you guys know I like using the Agawa Canyon uh, Boreal 21 saw. That saw, uh, no doubt, in my opinion, is the best saw on the market. You cannot get any better than that. Uh, it's durable. It'll take a shit kicking, and it's never going to come apart. The only problem with this saw that I have discovered is that it's pretty long and it's hard to fit in the backpack, but it does come with this really cool sheath. If you buy the if you buy the overall kit, it gives you a spot to where you can actually attach an extra blade inside, like this one. You slide all your stuff in there, 
you click it on, you attach it to your backpack, it's there forever. Now, some, sometimes I don't always want to carry a big axe just because it's a little heavy. And I'll carry my, um, my machete instead. And on the machete, I just attach it to the other side of the backpack. Uh, today, I only needed one chopping tool, not two. So the machete stayed at home, the axe came with me. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at this uh, this backpack. Um, for those of you who already have uh, an Alice frame or many other frames this will fit, this is an absolute warrior of a backpack that you'll be handing down to your children later on. I really don't see it uh, wearing out in any spots. It's super well built, well designed, and well thought out by, by Malcolm. Um, there's not much more I could say about it really. <clears throat> so uh, I think what I will do is I'll just give you a couple, a quick couple looks at it. I really wanted to show you this pack, show you some of the features of it, and uh, why I thought it was so good. And um, the great thing is too is that if you ever want to uh, go on to hit the trails a little bit, drop the backpack but bring the frame with you, uh, you could t easily take this thing off, throw it on, throw the, the the frame back onto your backpack, and haul back uh, wild game, uh, big pieces of game, or or whatever. And then when you get back to your camp. Like I am now, put everything back together again, and and, uh, and then head on out, uh, no problem. So, so guys, if you're in the, if you're in the market for a backpack and you already have an old frame that's still in good shape, and you want to be able to uh, keep on using that thing for a good long time, I highly recommend anything from Hidden Woodsman. This is my first piece of gear from him. I'll be honest with you, he didn't send it to me. I bought it, and it's absolutely awesome. There's nothing more I could say about this pack. It is freaking awesome. Um, my new best friend anyway i'm gonna stick a link down in the in the, in the description below so if you want to uh go over and check out malcolm's stuff and you got you got some extra change to line around uh, i would definitely uh consider picking up a piece of gear that's gonna last you a lifetime thanks for watching guys get out explore